All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, we're back at the uh, the old EXT today, and uh, today we got to do uh, head gaskets because uh, you know what we discovered in the uh, last video I made a couple days ago that uh, you know there's coolant getting in there, and you know if you pop the old coolant cap off, there's uh, can't really see in there. Let me see if I can pop my light on there. It's empty for the most part. So we're going to uh, pop these seals apart and uh, can I can I get that back on there? There we go. And uh, do some head gaskets on there and uh, see how she goes. So uh, I guess we'll just start her off. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum all the remaining coolant out of the system with uh, the old shop vac right here and see what we can accomplish with that. And. Uh, it's going to be hard to film today because I have no idea where my uh, tripod went. I have to find that, so I'll do the best I can one-handed, but uh, we'll get these heads off and put the new head gaskets on. Alright, we got most of the coolant out, uh, vacuumed out. Um, I, I can't really get a good seal on it with uh, the setup we got going on there, so whatever. Um, so it, It's down to about there, so for the most part I'm pretty sure it's out of the heads and cylinders and all that so whatever so I'm gonna start popping all the uh, well just this right here on each cylinder off I don't know if focus so just pop the coolant like this whole coolant pipe off pull that back and uh, looks like we're gonna pop the uh, carbs back off and then we'll just yank those heads out and pop the new gasket in clean her all up and uh, get that all sealed up and fill her back up with coolant. Alright guys, so I got all those bolts out, but unfortunately one of them broke off, so I'm gonna in this top hole right here, so I'm gonna uh, drill that baby out real quick and uh, see if we can't uh, you know, maybe save those threads. Alright guys, so I can't really get on this bolt straight because the ZRT logo is raised up on the engine, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pop all these, uh, the, you know, all the caps for the jugs off and uh, flat it on my bench, put it on my bench flat and then drill down at it so I can try to save the threads. If not, I can tap it, but you know, it'd be easier to just try to get that out and save the threads. So go pop all, all these off and uh, go from there. All right, guys, we uh, got the tops off of everything. They Oh, this this one needs a little bit of work. Oh, come on, Bessie. Oh, I got probably got a bolt still in. But anyway, got them all labeled. Uh, currently, the t you know the top of the pistons don't look terrible for you know almost 5,500 miles. But there's to be a uh, uh, checking when we uh, pop the uh, jugs off. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get that taken care of right quick. Alright guys, so just a quick update. I got uh, all the bolts for the jugs off minus this one right here and I'm trying to take it easy, just soak it in PV because it is it moved and it got tight so I'm trying trying not to break that. But other than that, everything's free. Should be good to uh, pull these bad boys out after I uh, get that last bolt out down there and then we'll uh, Drop our new gaskets in. Gasket seals, uh, if you look here, you can really see, oh, I guess that might not be the best angle, but cylinder walls are just coated in milk. Just coolant oil mixed. Kind of see down there how, uh, this one's fine. This one didn't have any, uh, I think the gaskets are getting ready to go though, but so I'm going to work on getting that bolt out right there and uh, we'll pick it up when I get that baby out and uh, get our jugs off. Alright guys, I got the uh, all the jugs off and uh, kind of see it down there. We do got some coolant at the bottom of the crankcase so I'm going to do my best to uh, vacuum all of that out and I'm going to hose her down with some WD-40 and uh, she should be on her way. Just, uh, she'll be cherry, I reckon. But yeah, um, 
I'm just going to hose all that down and call it a day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad I noticed this uh, when I was putting the jug back on because I didn't really look at the piston that much, but we can focus in on it here. Uh, yeah, you can see that the uh, we got a fine crack down that piston, so uh, the other ones are fine. So I, but uh, yeah, I just noticed this. So uh, we're going to be uh, doing a full top end rebuild on her. Uh, I got to go uh, order new pistons and rings now, and uh, she's just going to get the whole works. So uh, I guess that's it for this video. We got a new head gasket on there, but uh, now we're going to be doing the top end. A full top end. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next one.